Log recording, 12.13 p.m. It's 4.11.2023. We were John C. Roseman, California. The first letter I did just a few seconds ago was to a cruising buddy, my sorts. I wanted him to know how much he has meant to me of all the things he's been going through right now as it is. And right now, I just didn't want to upset him a bit. He's already admitted that there's a problem with his, with his father. His father had lost his wife and best friend a while ago. And I'm wondering if he's actually hearing the call again to come home. Don doesn't want to deal with it. I don't blame him. He wants to be positive about a thing, and I would want him to be. But I can tell you, when I was dealing with it on my own damn terms, with dealing with David regarding Mama, oh my God. I really didn't want to deal with it. I wanted to argue like a son of a bitch on that one. I think I did with him, but... Seeing Ma in the hospital, Dave and I kept going over to the AA meeting halls and I was damn near destroying chairs because I was like, <laughs> with the damn arm wrestler, all right? Even after I shared what I had to share, I was just like, <laughs> and somebody had to keep saying, John, will you be, you're okay, you relax. She's dying, there's not a damn thing I could do about it. What the hell am I supposed to do about it? It was a hell of a lot of fear, a lot of anger. But was fear translating into anger? into denial, but it was happening, it was happening, and I felt like there was a, not a damn thing I could do about it, not a damn thing. This was truly being powerless over people, places, things, and events, and I couldn't do a damn thing about it. My mama was dying. The woman I was living with all my damn life, I was going to take care of her for the rest of my life. I was hoping maybe she'd get back up there on her feet. She never did. Once she got her subconscious mindset, that was it. Just <laughs> Maybe if she wanted... It wasn't in the cards. But she already started this downhill path. And nobody picked up on it until... She had all those damn times going over to the damn hospital that she was giving up mentally on that one. Should have been the same way for my brother. Didn't pick up on that one either. No, I get the fucking 911. I got to do a 911 call on his ass. The next thing I know, I'm coming around a corner in the hospital corridors to the, to the area where his body was worked on, and there is a piece of meat. It's not my brother anymore. There was no warning on that one. But there should have been. I was going to go to distance and help take care of him. Even if I was having many strokes, I don't give a shit. I was going to take care of him. It was my damn job. Social Security was coming in. We are going to be doing fine. Just don't deal with the damn online broad. And don't deal with the loan shark. And just take care of my brother. I was going to put the school on hold. I had already been about two or three years into it. And Dave saw how well I was doing. And he, didn't want, he really didn't want me to have any issues with it before. <coughs> before he had the heart, before he had the uh, the mini strokes, we argued about this one, and I told him, "I don't care what happens. I'll put on a hole. I'm going to be taking care of your ass, Dave. That's my job. That's my job. I take care of your ass. We take we took care of mom because we had to." That was our job. That was the agreement we made. This is my agreement to you. I don't give a shit about my damn education at this point over here. I take care of you. You're my life. There's a lot of things else I could have said more about. But I wanted to tell him that I'm not giving up on the son of a bitch. I guess maybe he... I don't know. I don't know what the hell happened. But the next thing I see is my brother passing away before me. And it hurt like a son of a bitch. It really did. 
How the hell was I supposed to be able to deal with that shit? I felt a hell of a lot of anger towards him and a hell of a lot of fear and, and a hell of a lot of stunned feelings on this one here. Sometimes I still have to feel it every so often. It just comes welling up a little bit. If I'm not going to be crying my eyeballs out because I missed him and Ma a great deal, it's like I'm pissed off at him. He didn't want to fight. Unless, of course, there was somebody else already upstairs already making a damn call that David had to go, and I had to be on my own. It's the only explanation I can understand at this point over here that would make sense. And that still would piss me off at this point over here. But, you know, this is it. It's my existence right now. This is my life. This is what I have to deal with. This is me right now. I keep doing the damn channel because I got a hell of a lot of emotional grief and a lot of emotional turmoils and everything else going pouring out. Not to mention the PTSD shit. And I'm doing this just in case I'm going to be snuffed out suddenly. Or maybe I'm going to be taking a long turn this time. I mean, shit, I already did the, the three times up and three times back at four years old. What the hell? Open heart surgery, rip the damn thing open, see if we can fix in the valves. Oh, there he goes. Get back here. Okay, let's work on it again. There it goes again. You son of a bitch. Don't even do this shit to me. Oh, there he goes again. I could try making a joke about that damn thing, but it really wasn't funny during that time. It was bad enough, I get about a few weeks later, about a month or two later, I'm getting to a cardiologist's office. going to be my cardiologist for the next decade and a half. All right, John, how you feeling? Oh, God, do I have to go through this? Ah, uh, coming is not going to hurt that much. You know, there's no anesthesia to pull out staples out of a young kid's chest, except use staple removals. Oh... Anything that I heard in my youth was being displayed and yelled and screamed at. And I was hating Ma. I was hating him. I was hating God for putting me through this damn shit. And I guess maybe part of that still translated throughout my youth in certain aspects and certain behaviors. Hating God for putting me through this damn shit. It could have just kept me up in heaven. And the bitch of it is, that's the childhood thinking at that point. That's the child of me thinking about that shit. How dare God do that to me? The kid of me still st screams and yells about that. How, I mean, who the hell God thinks he is doing this shit to me? Never did I understood at that point what the hell was going on with me. Nor could I explain it to anybody else for those days. Because I didn't know. Nobody else would talk to me about the damn shit. I had lay ministers. I actually had a couple of ministers who kept trying to tell me about what death was. What uh, what the afterlife would be. They'd never been there. They just only read about the damn scriptures all the damn time. Preaching that the people left and right. But they hadn't had the experience of going upstairs, getting the experience, and coming right back down. Nothing. Hollywood can make movies about the damn thing. Unless you go through the damn shit yourself, you'll never know. You'll never know. Unless you write books about the damn shit and make money off the damn stuff. Make it into a telemovie. That's how I felt. I was pissed off at God. And angry at where the shit's been happening. And the thing is, the human, the human soul and the human mind cannot understand and comprehend beyond what is and what's presented to us. Context and perspectives. That's what I keep telling them a lot on these videos. I just hope people can understand context and perspective. We're only knowing a finite. We're not infinite. Until it is our time to be part of that infinite. And then we will understand, comprehend all. But there's no way in hell to translate it down to us. There's no Rosetta Stone for that shit. We have to have faith. We have to have trust. We have to have belief. We haven't got it. Then what the hell are we? Lost souls. And the thing is, I didn't even realize what the hell was going on. 
God never really reveals his plan. If there is a plan for all of us, there's no way for us to comprehend it. We just have to live. We'll mourn, we'll grieve, we'll die. We may celebrate, we may pig out, we may turn into be a fat blimp. Or maybe skinny as rails or something like that. But the thing of it is, we exist, we deal, we cope, we work, we deal with what we've got in life. And dealing with no news whether or not we're going to be losing people in our life left and right. And I'll tell you something, getting that damn bond show, man, it really puts a sour stomach, it gives you a sour stomach even worse than getting indigestion. Because now you know you're going to be losing someone left and right, and everything's changed inside of you. Everything switches from what was hopeful into a damn depressing state. And it's a lot of work to put yourself back into the positive state again, even if you're perpetual. Because there is going to be a time and there's going to be a place where you are stretched beyond anything else, and you still have to put your faith and trust in something beyond yourself. You have to. you got no choice at that point. Otherwise, you're going to be tearing yourself apart. I know about that too damn well. I just only know this guy from the videos, and I already think I'm a I'm, I'm good friend with his, or just want to be good friends with him. Don Terrace. Does Don's family vacations on his channel, and also just Don. He's gone through a hell of a lot of medical shit. He does cruising a lot. He's a travel agent. They're hearing all this damn news hitting him left and right. God's got to be setting him up for something better or something different. And they're all worried about him, his online community. I'd be worried about him too. Anyway, this is my take concerning about the situation. I mean, I'll be posting this one with a lot of my other videos, and I have to make sure that this is going to be addressed to Don as well. I have to. I need to. If I could afford a cruise vacation right now, I probably would. A book a carnival if I had to. And just, just to go back on the seas again. Even if I had to made it for, you know, maybe a few moments or a few hours or something like that as a commemorative. Just memorialize my brother and me having a cruise, but then it's just me. But I would hope I'd cruise it with Don. He seems to be a good guy and a guy trying to deal with life. Someone I could relate with. I just hope to God he doesn't have it in for Don. If God wants to take it out of me, take it out of me. But please don't, not all my friends. I'll be in for myself. I have to deal with my own damn mortality, and I'm going to be dealing with my mortality, and that's going to be scaring the hell out of me, but not necessarily. I'll be saying, oh good, then I know I get to be saddled with the rest of this shit, bringing it up to heaven. I haven't got a Yule truck with this shit. What do I need to do? Throw everything else in the U-Haul, burn the damn shit up, and, just, and have the images like that burn into my mind, and then just go to heaven, and, and here's the U-Haul truck with all my burnt memories. Here's the eye rings, God. All the shit I did, and all the shit I collected. Here's my old memories, here's my pictures, here's my files, and here's everything else. Shit. <laughs> nah, I'll let the vultures take care of them. Vultures would pick this place clean. I'll just send my records and my files and my pictures to someone. Let that person take care of them. That's my new found friend. We're cruising. I wish him well. I pray. God be with him and his family. But I got a feeling. His father is getting the call, or actually had already had the call. And we'll be getting the visits, or maybe in the process of having the visits. But what pissed me off is my brother had the visits, but how come my brother didn't have it? But if he did, he wasn't going to tell me about the damn shit. He told me about Ma's, but he wasn't telling me about his. That's another thing to be pissed off at my brother about, I swear. 
I can't do anything right with that son of a bitch. I swear, and I love him to death. I, I love my brother and my son a great deal. I swear, if I'm going to see him in hand, I'm still going to kick his fucking butt just for the general principle of it. He's going to fucking piss me off. What is your days? <laughs> oh. Anyway. Until I get more news to be depressed about and document other things. Later, guys. This one's going to be sent out at 